WEFNN. Headline News Update. I'm Basil Chapman, the other host of the Tiger Technicians. I'll be looking at the Dow on the left side chart here. It's up um, 120 at 27,996. All time high is 28,090, made on the 19th of November. It's had four days to consolidate. Um, hasn't made a new high yet. The MACD's a little flat and weak. The stochastic's very weak. But the moving averages are still strong. So it's, I say to subscribers to my opening call, we've got to be careful here because it's unfolding that there's there's a, a consolidation taking place, but the, the main technicals have not weakened yet. They will in about a, another three to four sessions, but they haven't yet. So we're watching this. And in that context, look at the S&P. The S&P made, there we go, made a new all-time high today, 31.31.65, and it's bumping into some kind of resistance. MACD is a little bit flat and weak. Um, the stochastic's down to 75 percent, under 80 percent. Those two moving averages are key, and it's very important um, that it holds a 31, um, I'd say 31.22 to 31.12 area on any sudden pullback over the next day or so. And most importantly, the QQQ is acting uh, very well. It's gone to a new all-time high. It also has got great technicals, but those two key moving averages have helped it. It's at uh, 204.10 is the high today, all-time high, trading up 2.09 and 203.92. The real winner is the laggard, the one that had been holding back, holding back a huge move today, up 2%, up 2.06%, up 3.26 at 161.48. The winner is the Russell 2000. And in the monthly chart, it's finally made its leg C. We need to see, is the Russell going to go to the 173 area, all-time high, before we have a major pullback in the general markets? Or is it rotating now as if it's become the new winner as the others take a bit of a breather? Gold, I haven't looked at gold for a moment. Uh, gold is down uh, 6.5 at 40.57. And the dollar on Friday had a really good session. It's had a nice session so far today. It's bumping into resistance. It's up 0 0.04 at 98.30. Nice action, but it needs to really get into the 1970s to say it's got a lot more to go. And look at crude oil, just been all over the show today. It's now down 22 cents, up, down, up, down, up, down, 57.54. If it can close at 60.50 this week, that's going to be very positive. If it slides under 56, that's going to 56.30, that's negative. I'll be back. We'll talk about bonds. We'll talk about the market. We'll talk about what's moving. I'll be right back for the Tiger Technicians Hour coming up after this break. Thanks for being here. I hope to see you in a few minutes. Otherwise, good morning.